Hello everyone, it's Charlton. All right, here we go. Miami Beach cop. There's uh, some some uh, some body cam footage that's been released by another officer who's actually seeking whistleblower status. Status. There's a group of officers who's approaching a man who's uh, been identified as a homeless man. His name is Lowell Portier Jr., 35 years old. And uh, the officer appears to sucker punch the the unarmed black man who's being asked to leave, I believe, a restaurant or the establishment who the officers are originally there for him. And it received complaints that he wouldn't leave and he was bothering customers, something like that. I'm just paraphrasing, but it's, it's along those lines. So he is seated here. I'll show you the video. Um, and this is, uh, this is a video... Of, from a, attorney Michael Peasy, who actually is representing another officer, the officer who is seeking, um, you know, whistleblower status, who released this. And as soon as this made, got made public this morning, Wednesday morning, yeah, Wednesday morning, um, officials I think put this officer on 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 administrative leave while it's being looked into by internal affairs, etc. But as a result of it being made uh, public, you know, I'll try to read through portions of the article. So, the individual, the homeless guy, Portier, did I mention him? I did. Is sitting right here. And this individual is the officer who ends up allegedly or sucker, you know, sucker punching the man. Okay. You know, and, and, and he, um, obviously, or he's, he's claiming he felt threatened. His safety was threatened and, uh, that he did it in order to defend himself and, and because he feared he was about to be attacked. And the, the union, the police union is fully, fully 100% behind the officer. So another officer who's standing there, whose body cam is on, and incidentally, this, if you can, you can see this, this body cam was released, um, you know, uh, I guess without the knowledge of the, the police department and the officer or at least it appears that this was filmed like on somebody's cell phone, if you can see here and then, um, you know, and then taken. So this isn't the actual like body cam footage. It is, but it's somebody else fo filming it in the station secretly, you know, unauthorized, basically. Okay, there we go. So here's, uh, here's the video. The dude is sitting right there. This guy's talking to him. He's saying something to him. And actually, there's, there's, they tell you in this report, um, before I play the video, what, what, what was said. So in the video, a voice is heard saying, Watch yourself, bud. I guess that's the officer speaking to the unarmed black man a couple of times before Portier, the unarmed black man, black man responds, what, what? Then an officer un identified as Adriel, Adriel Dem Dominguez, who, uh, who joined the force in 2016, slams his right fist into the left side of Portier's face, knocking him down. Frederick Dominguez, who's the person who... Uh, has has obtained the body cam footage and has released it through his attorney, uh, Michael Peasy. Uh, no relation to the officer who threw the punch, wasn't at the scene on December 3rd. December 3rd is when the, uh, the incident took place. But the Miami Beach police officer obtained a copy of the video, according to his attorney, Michael Peasy, after reviewing the video. The 12-year veteran took, uh, took exception to it, saying it didn't jive with the account's in the police reports. All right, so back to the video. Here we go. So this officer's here is saying, you know, watch yourself, butter, whatever. And then he, he, you see him abruptly get up, and then he pulls something from the menu, and that's where they get face to face, almost like nose to nose, and then, and then the punch happens. Here it comes. So, you know, that's, uh, that's, there's the individual who was arrested. He was charged with, it's in this article, just a second, just a second. All right, so, um, hmm. 
he was charged with resisting arrest. And a couple other things. Just a sec. Here it is. Uh, so he was charged with misdemeanor assault uh, on a police officer resisting arrest without violence and disorderly conduct. He has since been released on bond. He is listed as a homeless. He's listed as homeless and could not be immediately reached for comment. So far, he does not have an attorney. A judge could uh, judge could appoint the public defender's office to represent him if prosecutors seek jail time. So as soon as that that video got made public, um, you know, it uh, it it obviously became an issue, and. Um, PZ said another reason that Dominguez, Frederick Dominguez, who secretly got or made the, the video public, decided to make the video public was his concern that department leaders push street officers to be too aggressive. I've never seen anything like it. It's outrageous behavior. It's an assault in broad daylight, said PZ, who was asking the city for whistleblower stat protection for his client. The union representing Adriel. Uh, Dominguez weighed in fully supporting the officer's actions. The video, along with the police officer's body camera footage, captured the dangerous confrontation with an agitated, angry, and physically aggressive defendant, said Miami Beach Fraternal Order of Police President Robert Jenkins. Senior police staff and elected leaders on Miami Beach, uh, who were alerted to the incident by the Miami Herald, quickly decided to remove Dominguez from patrol duty, but also urged the public not to rush, rush to judgment uh, on, the officer's, on the officer's action actions. Miami Beach Police Chief Dan Oates said he'd first seen the video Wednesday morning, nine days after the altercation. So this all, you know, became, you know, this, his, uh, th this all became a result of, of, the, of the Miami Hale publishing this video. You know, it's pretty great. Wednesday morning, this morning. It's Thursday now, but it's 1 in the morning. So senior police staff and elected leaders at, on Miami Beach who were alluded to the incident by the Miami Herald quickly decided to remove Dominguez from patrol duty as a result of this Miami Herald report. It's pretty crazy. The chief uh, said it appeared someone had used his cell phone to record the body cam footage off another screen. He said he's already referred the incident to the department's internal affairs unit and the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office for, re for review. A major portion of the review will look into how far up the chain of command the incident had been reported. It said officers wearing body cameras are required to turn themselves in at the end, at the end of each shift. Any use of force is required to be reviewed. The footage could have been available to um, Adriel, Adriel Dominguez's bosses for over a week. And uh, that is the story there. It's over the Daily Mail as well. That's the individual, uh, Portier, who was, who was charged with uh, what I said before. I already forgot. Resisting arrest without violence. Misdemeanor assault, I think it was, and uh, disorderly conduct. The video's here too as well. Let's check it out one more time. All right, man. Well, that is the story there. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below, and I will see you in the next video. Later, man.